So I have uh, just created my API. Let me refresh quickly. So no, no smoke and mirrors. Uh, it's an actual thing, right? So this is my WS2 API cloud deployment, which is our API manager in the cloud. I have published one API, which is a, a World Bank API. So this is the developer portal. And uh, I haven't done any customization, so it just has the default URLs, default um, styling. Obviously, in real life, you would probably have your own logos and styles and URLs. I have subscribed to that. Uh, so let me quickly show you. Here's my application that I registered. It's obviously just the default application that was there. I think I generated the keys. You know what? I'll just make it a non expiring key. So I don't have it expired on me during the demo. Let's make sure that it works. Um, so this API just goes to the back end uh, in the World Bank and gives me some basic data about countries. Right, so that's US data is uh, the one for Spain or whatever. Cool. So right now everything goes through the cloud, right? So you, you can see that this is the URL that's been invoked. So what we will do now is we will go and set up a local uh, gateway on my laptop, right? And so once I do that, I will just use localhost uh, to run it. So here's the API, uh, the gateway being downloaded. I think what I will do is I will use just the one that I downloaded yesterday. So we don't have to wait till I uh, download it. There is, okay. let me go into that folder. Nice. Uh, and then you just follow the instructions, right? So basically it tells you, okay, on Linux, here's what you need to run to configure it. Okay, I'll do that. Ask me for my organization key. And that's the one that the UI tells you to provide. Email address. Now you know how to reach me if you have any questions after the webinar. This is my actual email address and the password. Okay, configured successfully. Now we can go ahead and start it. Okay, and so here's the uh, this API gateway that is getting started. Uh, and uh, as you can see, that UI also has gives you the capability to download another one, right? So you can have multiple. Uh, multiple instances. You don't have to get limited to just one. Yeah, get started. And then at some point, you will see, okay, actually, you can see it already. So at some point, yeah, the, if I refresh it, it shows that, yeah, it actually knows that I have some uh, remote gateways, some on-premises gateways. And as you install them, you will start seeing the list, right? So it actually already got the computer name, which is a good thing. That means that the uh, agent, the gateway, has already contacted the cloud and reported the computer name. And the status is offline right now, right? So it does not yet, it's not functional yet. And uh, at some point you can see that the status changed to, to online, right? So basically you can, uh, this uh, UI within your on-premises gateways give you the capability to monitor all of them. And there's obviously documentation that you can follow and so on. And you can easily get to that UI right from the, from the web interface. Okay, uh, so while I was talking, it actually says that synchronization is completed. So let's go ahead and invoke it. If you remember, so uh, when I invoked it in the cloud, it gave me the, the curl command, so I will just lazy and I will copy and paste it. Uh, 
Okay, so here I invoked it in the cloud, right? That's the cloud URL. Now what I will do is just change it to localhost. I'll use HTTP and not HTTPS uh, because I don't have uh, a cell setup on my laptop, but obviously you can do HTTPS just fine. And then the default port for HTTP uh, for this is 8280, but it's configurable. So here we are. Uh, you can look, you can see that, yes, now it uh, gives us some information about Spain. And obviously we can change it to anything. Let's go Mexico. Cool. So Mexico, US, and now UK. Okay. So basically what we have done is we have in, uh, I guess, less than five minutes, we have set up a hybrid API management, right? So we have downloaded the agent. The agent is running. We can monitor it uh, from the cloud. We can manage it from the cloud. We can see all the reports and analytics in the cloud. And, uh, but all the calls are open locally. So the calls that I was doing were just within my laptop to that API gateway running on my laptop.